Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video. Um, something a little different today. We are heading down to um, what's known as the amphitheater. Um, it's down at uh, off the canal. But uh, what I wanted to show you before I actually got there was uh, this is the uh, Veterans Memorial. Um, they have uh, all the stones here. You can see all the stones. Uh, these are memorial uh, bricks you can buy and the money goes towards something awesome. Um, the uh, the the fountain itself was done in, I believe, 2001, and uh, at night it lights up. It's got plaques memorializing the fallen and the people that helped uh, help produce this uh, uh, monument. Um, we're heading down to the amphitheater though right now. We're we're just steps away. It's uh, in the afternoon right now, about uh, 2 o'clock. Um, as you can see, we're kind of sort of sort of sunny, sort of hazy, but nothing, uh, nothing uh, that I'd call outright uh, sunny. Uh, as you can see, this is the amphitheater. Uh, seats about uh, roughly about, uh, I don't know, maybe a thousand about here. It's pretty big, you can see. They really maintain this really well. Um, at night, uh, all along the stairs here, you can see there's lights that go up and over on that side. And uh, this stage, they'll actually do music shows and uh, uh, put on productions here, uh, concerts and uh, what have you. Um, during pre-COVID, they actually had a, uh, a fair amount of, um, they had a fair amount of, um, public events that would uh, that would happen down here during the uh, don't let the little weeds and uh, crap fool you just simply because of the uh, pandemic there wasn't an, uh, a whole lot of attention being able to be played paid to uh, maintaining all of this so everything that you see like the weeds and and everything like that usually isn't actually here um, yeah it usually isn't actually here they have gates here on the uh, on to get to the uh, thing but as you can see there's nothing around it so you can just step step around it on this side they even give you a handrails to hold on to to get over there so it doesn't really actually uh stop anybody like most uh gates and locks they're only there to uh, keep out honest people sorry i'm sweating it is hot out here it is hot and humid i actually left um some pretty decent air conditioning uh to come out and do uh do spend a little time with you um it's it's really beautiful out sorry guys uh it's really beautiful out uh so i don't really want to disparage it in any way it's uh it's just definitely something that i should have taken into account when uh when i had come All right, I know what we'll do. Um, we'll head up the little sneaky uh, passageway here and uh, we'll head over to uh, Canal Terrace. Um, you guys remember that uh, from some of my earlier videos. Uh, it definitely is a fan favorite. I don't always go to uh, Canal Terrace, although, to be honest, the, coming to the amphitheater uh, wasn't one of my first choices uh, when coming out to have a smoke, uh, but it definitely was one of my uh, uh, stops um, since we've 
it's been starting streaming um, I haven't really given a chance or been able to give you a chance to get out and see the amphitheater uh, but definitely knew it was on the uh, on the agenda to be pulled off at some point a lot of people out a lot of people enjoying the weather uh, getting out and uh, sharing time together which is really great to see of course um, I think a lot of people kind of let the uh, uh, pandemic stir craziness kind of get a hold of a lot of them and um, and uh, definitely are welcome to get out once again get out and enjoy uh, a little bit more of the social norms that we've uh, that we kind of are used to here in uh, here in Canada even the geese are uh, away usually we have uh, geese all along here um, but they're definitely not uh, not being they're definitely not around not around at all but they'll be back they always are all right I'm coming to an intersection here so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna try to not get run over I don't always not get run over but when I do, it's because I'm uh, quick. We're crossing over division here, so it's uh, I'm take we're taking our lives into our hands here cross against the red light. Don't cross against the red light, kids. Everybody here, of course, knows uh, Canal Terrace. It was... Uh, a couple videos ago that we covered uh, covered this location. Check this across the street. This used to be a bank. Um, it actually was, a, I believe, a bank of Montreal for the longest time, and uh, the building got foreclosed on. Can you imagine? And uh, they had some plans in there to actually uh, turn it into a, a nightclub and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure the uh, the city uh, scuttled those plans. Either that, or I believe the um, the developer didn't get didn't have the money to uh, didn't have the money to uh, cover it. Uh, one quick thing I wanted to show you too. There was another reason when I was here at the uh, showing the other video the last time I was here. Um, what I forgot to do was come around to this side of the uh, of the uh, building, and it's much the same of uh, the other side. Minor facts. Uh, is cut, they do it in French and English as well, so it's a lot easier uh, if you're bilingual and uh, English isn't your first, isn't your first uh, uh, thing. We have an officer behind us. He's pulling up. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that? Yeah, I, I did a shot a video here yesterday. I uh, did a stream here yesterday. I just forgot to show this side. All right, guys. So that pretty much is it for the um, the adenum I wanted to uh, show you. Um, Canal Terrace, I do enjoy, uh, even for smoking. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's usually um usually pretty quiet. There's usually not a lot of people, but uh, you definitely get a chance to uh, reflect a little bit more down here. And you did generally don't get the problems with the crackheads that are up at the uh, up at the farther end of town. I hate to say that too because um, 
as you know, it's not really, you know, their fault, kind of, it's, they're in the throes of a disease, in the grips of, uh, of an addiction, right, and, um, so you can't really fault them, it's just getting the social services that are able to, uh, provide and make a, make an actual difference in, uh, in, in where it's needed the most. One more street to cross over, and, uh, hopefully we're not going to get run over. <laughs> never want to get run over. How you doing? It's much, it's nice to get out, eh? Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Do you smoke? No. Oh, okay. Nah, <laughs> then I won't offer you any. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just shooting a uh, video for my YouTube. <coughs> yeah, I have a uh, YouTube channel that I pr predominantly feature vi videos of around town and going around and so am I, having fun. Am I on your YouTube? Yes, check it out. Dwayne Scriven. Dwayne Scriven. I don't have a computer. Yeah. Out, you're out because you're yeah, yeah, uh, just all around town. Anything that I see interesting, uh, for example, cop stops. When cops are stopping people, I'll, I'll, I'll video them just in case something uh, something happens where they're, uh, you know, violating someone's rights or, you know, at least it's on record. You know? Oh yeah, that's uh. Yeah, that's I believe that's John. And the cops were right there. And they didn't do nothing. They didn't do anything. No, they know him though, right? They know he's pretty harmless. No, but that verbal uh, language. Disorderly. Yeah, and plus he's yeah he's telling people off. Hmm. So when you start you start making other threats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, I guess that's when it could become a problem. Oh, yeah. I'm not for sure the cops were going to take them away. Well, I think if nobody's actually made a complaint, then they can't really do anything, right? Yeah, yeah. I got the shot off yesterday, but I said, yeah. Sorry for the smoke, guys. Yeah. I think those are Pokemon goers. Goers? Is that what you call them? Pokemon goers? I believe. I'm not sure. I think it's Pokemon Go that's the big thing right now, but there's another little group over here. Maybe we'll ask them. Nah, probably not. Not too good to be asking questions of minors on the street. I should have asked the bigger group back there with the, had the uh, obvious adults in it. A little bee just flew into my hand. I might think he was a bee. <coughs> Something bee-ish. Well, bug-ish. <coughs> Smooth stuff. Well in sign, you guys?
<laughs> There's nobody coming. We're crossing. I hope y'all will help me get to uh, at least a thousand subs. Um, I don't know if you know it, but the whole idea of my uh, uh, Zelo chat room for my channel subscribers uh, was simply that once I get to a thousand subscribers and I'm able to actually live broadcast, excuse me, and I'm able to live broadcast, um, it would be awesome if I'm, say, doing an audit, because I would start doing audits. I'd go, uh, I would start trying to do a couple of audits here and there. But it would be really nice if, uh, while I'm ha doing my audits, uh, my chat room is filled up with uh, my subscribers, and uh, and uh, we're, we're able to, you're able to hear yourselves uh, asking questions, talking amongst yourselves. If the cop's getting uh, feisty and out of control, you guys are, uh, he can actually hear comments you guys are making, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and I might not have it uh, turned up all the time or in each time, but I mean, knowing that it's there and being able to uh, uh, turn it up a little and hear you guys out there while I'm doing, say, something uh, uh, comparable to an audit, it would really mean a lot. And really, uh, really, really, uh, I think it would be a YouTube first. Um, uh, definitely would it be a YouTube first, being able to do live audits and having my subscribers uh, uh, along for the ride and there for the, uh, the support. Uh... I guess that's it. Um, hey, listen, thank you so much for joining me on these videos. Um, I know sometimes they're not always exciting. I know sometimes um, it, it, we're not, uh, you know, yelling, uh, yelling at cops or poking our noses into anything. Um, but the idea is, is that we get to spend some time together, and uh, that's what it's all about. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you on the next video.